Hi there, Signs of Sagittarius. This is Kim here to do your reading for you. It is um, it is a reading that I call Beating the Odds. It is the next 48 hour, but it's it's a Beating the Odds reading. So I've only done two <laughs> so far with this, but we're doing three rows and maybe whatever extra comes. This is Osho Zantero. I provide a channel for your spirit team to my spirit team. That's what happens. And let's get into your reading. Hope you're doing really well today. I hope your day has been lovely. And the weather's been nice. I hope. Okay. Hmm, one more time. I'm sorry. Sagittarius, messages for Sagittarius, please, Spirit. What are the, whatever issues they have going on to beat the odds? What do they have to take a look at to beat the odds, Sagittarius? Hmm. Your own consciousness and getting clarity with who you truly are, like, inside yourself. Who are you, if you say you're aware, then who are you aware to is that who you want to still remain aware to in the sense that you can use this information, this clarity about yourself. Um, you can use it to push you forward towards the things that you've always really wanted. Ace of Swords energy. It's, um, it's your consciousness. And uh, you have an effect on changing that too. You can certainly slide into more positive uh, thinking and change things. That is the challenge here. It is the Queen of Swords reverse. It is the challenge. Either you're dealing with somebody who possibly is um, kind of detached from their heart. I think the message here is the information that you're needing is to know that this person was kind of, it feels like maybe they were raised like this, like maybe it's conditioning. And if this doesn't resonate with you, then don't make it fit, of course. But if this isn't you, then this is somebody else you're dealing with that's kind of um, detached from their heart space. They've been taught to do this. Um, stoicism. But extreme stoicism. <laughs> it's not... Um, this is like thinking that um, the energy of love or crying or anything like that, like putting that stuff down, um, looking as, at expressing emotions as weak, that comes from that energy. So your challenge is to get past that energy. Not easy energy to get past because it's making its presence known. Okay, the heart of the matter is Ten of Swords in reverse, which is, that's how I like to see it. There's a rebirth in your consciousness is the message. And these usually, that usually says consciousness, but I didn't want the words to distract from the message. So I blacked those words out. Um, a rebirth, reinventing yourself. It could be the end of a painful cycle. Heck, all, all endings sometimes are like, you know, especially stuff that's been going on for a while. All endings are challenging of some sort. Past energy, please, for Sagittarius. The Nine of Cups. Beautiful. Beautiful. The Nine of Cups. Satiated. Comfortable. A wish is granted and you spent your wish on something that was good for you. Having all that you want here or having more than you need possibly in the past energy. What is the present energy for Sagittarius? King of Cups in the reverse with the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Cups in the 
Lovers. Let me get another card with that. Okay. There could feel like there is some kind of uh, information or something being revealed to you. It may be about your connection with others, possibly even new people that just have like past life connection with you. Something is being revealed. It may be regarding spiritual gifts and, and some kind of abilities that look sometimes can be very overwhelming. So I think that is what that King of Cups in the reverse is saying is that something's kind of overwhelming at this moment. What is possibly being revealed to you, the hourglass on the card, and the constant death and rebirth with the salamander. The king of cups, though, so could be a need to maybe consult with somebody, maybe a doctor or somebody that is um, skilled in healing, maybe Reiki, maybe energy healing. Uh-oh, I did not mean to do that. Okay. There we go. Okay, so the future energy here. What is the future energy? When you tap into your consciousness, your third eye consciousness, your, maybe don't give it a name necessarily either, but maybe it's bringing those gifts or abilities to the light. If I've heard of piercing the veil. I've heard that before. Lots of people say that. Um, it may be regarding the veil getting thinner, getting more messages, thinking about loved ones, people that we love. The master in reverse here is about those things that we can do for ourselves that we maybe haven't tried to do yet and it brings a balance so we're constantly mastering how we're responding and emotionally how we're reacting or responding to what we're going through and remember that there's many of those things that can be um, you know just thought well thought out by yourself being your own guide in a sorts but then it's you know this card suggests that you could reach out if you needed it for mentoring or counseling or coaching what is the in the you spot transformation change the death card it is the the challenge it wanted to lay on top of this ten of swords which is in reverse so it is about your rebirth and this is transformation, change. It is the challenge to getting your rebirth going. So there's definitely information that you need then. Information that you need. Okay, in your environment. Page cups in the reverse. Page cups in the reverse. This is usually, I see this as being like, okay, so you came from a situation that maybe somebody else said was not hopeful or didn't have much hope in it, but you get revealed, I feel like something gets revealed of what could move you forward, what could balance you out, and having more of a say here. Oh, nice. And there's your good news. So there's good news coming about regarding how you've changed. Playfulness. Don't forget um, to insert playfulness uh, when you can, when it's appropriate, of course. Page of Wands energy is news. It's good news. What's the outcome? Sagittarius okay see this this card is the same as this card there is a feeling here of um, Emperor in reverse so there are some some feeling of metaphorical chains that bind us to um, I don't know 
maybe it's a mis like a misuse in power. Maybe this is like saying, um, no, I break free from this. But this is like conforming to your own conformity here. I know I'm sounding silly, but let me say, let me say, this emperor, the only thing that can hold you back from using your own personal power, which I think is what it's talking about, is fear, because they, fear is the metaphorical chains there on you, in that card. So breaking free from your own chains that bind you is how it's going to work. Integration here, or the temperance energy, I like. It's about the energies of, um, well, good chemistry, removing impurities from metal, if you're tempering a metal. Um, getting along. Things are divinely being guided and created, of course, so there's something about timing coming into play balance and then you have the Ouroboros so you have the um, death and rebirth cycle three is your uh, that is your empress energy yeah so that's like patience with whatever it is you're trying to manifest because I think it's trying to come in the only thing that could hold you back would be fear or, I have two twos and they're in the reverse. So, the only thing that could also be holding us back from stepping into our true potential is to getting too overwhelmed. So, that's either living too much in the future or too much in the past. So, it's being really present because being present lets yourself, it reminds yourself that you're aware you create the past and the future with how you act in the present. So, pay attention in the present. Uh, the two of ones in reverse, I think, is about um, look having to go with this balance. And it might be unstable at the moment or feel like it's wobbly. But there are many more um, opportunities and paths that we haven't looked for or we haven't noticed. So you have the, the, mes the message here is these are turned upside down. You have the ability to turn everything right side up. Um, this is part of... It feels like part of the challenge is can you turn this right side up? And you can because this now moment always affects everything. All right, that is what I've got for you, Sagittarius. Hope you like this reading. Hope you got something from it. Um, let's see here. full moon in Gemini embrace the flow of life embrace the flow of life full moon in Taurus detoxify two full moons and a first quarter moon in Aquarius trust the universe yeah when it comes to this clear consciousness that I feel like you're going to be channeling through yourself um, you'll get some really great answers Help you move forward. Come out of any slump. Last quarter, those two quarters then. Last quarter moon in Gemini is clear your mind. So two Geminis here right in the middle. And then we have full moon in Taurus. And I have first quarter moon in Aquarius. Trust the universe. Full moon in Scorpio. Breathe through the tension. Yes, sometimes you can forget forget to breathe <sighs> remind myself become mindful of my own breath sometimes old soul you have um, 21 you have lived many lifetimes and you have gained wisdom beyond your years Positive life changes as it hit into this transformation and change card and metamorphosis. Positive life changes, 58. Po positive life changes are ahead if you choose to trust in the process. 55, entrepreneur. 
Be on the lookout for exciting business opportunities to unfold 55. Great change. And look, it's the Gemini twins. There's two of them there in the middle of your reading. That's crazy. Oh. Oh. Wake up call. 19. You're about to discover your life purpose. 54. The journey. You are learning every challenge you face has a hidden gift inside. 15. Core values. Follow your heart and make your values a priority. 33. Recognition. Someone deserves to be recognized for all that they do. Fifty-six, mirror everything that is happening in your external life is a reflection of your inner world. Sagittarius. And then I have dark night of the soul. You are in the midst of a spiritual awakening. You are in the midst of a spiritual awakening. Let's get some more. If you're in the midst of a spiritual awakening, you might want some messages. Perception, 36. You are ready to have a shift in of perception here that will change everything. 14, obsession. It's time to get out of your head and back into your heart. 17, what was I saying? Nourishment. And nourishment can come in the form of what stories you do you like to feed yourself to. You know, that's a form of nourishment, what we entertain ourselves with. Um, is it something good for us or does it have energy that could make us feel not so good? And then, of course, eating. Um, I mean, we all want to try to do that, but take time out to maybe analyze it. 18, past life connections. You are currently healing past life wounds. 31, automatic negative thoughts. You are learning to take charge of the thoughts you give life to. And 20, spiritual teacher, you are being guided to step into your role as a spiritual teacher. And what that might be why we had to go through some of this dark night of the soul, number 42. All right, so that's what I've got for you guys. Sending you love and light. I don't know why Gemini was so important in your reading, but Sagittarius, that's what I got for you. So sending you love and light as usual. You're, of course, you're appreciated, and um, yeah, that's what I got.